What's up everybody? We're out here today. We're gonna check one of my trail cameras and I'll see you guys when we get up there. We're gonna change it out and I'll show you guys what's all good on it. Hi everybody, I just got back from checking my camera. Uh, I did not set up a tripod and show you guys me changing a card and stuff. And it's pretty much basically boring. It took me like 20 seconds at most to do that. So I didn't really bother to set it up. But um, today I would like to tr clear some trails and stuff. I'm gonna throw these pictures in here into the video here in a minute and uh, I might show you guys clean some trails, uh, maybe ride some trails, maybe that'll be a different video. I'll set up my camera to the thing here and we'll ride some trails maybe. And we'll get to it here after a bit. But I don't know if we're going to ride. I kind of want to clear them mainly. But we'll get to it. So I'll see you guys when we either put these pictures in, I'll talk about the pictures, or we'll clear some trails slash ride. Okay everyone, we're going to go over a span of about three pictures here. So, there's uh, just some does in these pictures. This first picture here, you can see it's just this one doe. And then we go on to the next one, there's three doe. And we go on to the third picture and there's three doe there as well. Uh, the times for these pictures are all in the evening from 6.38 to 9.33 to 9.35. So we go on to two more pictures here. We see one doe here, then the bottom left pit, uh, corner of the picture, right behind the uh, Wild Game Innovations logo. You see a raccoon there, this is at 9.42 p.m. Then we go over to the next picture, and you see two more coons. Well, I'm sure one of them is the same one, but this is at 9.47 p.m. So this winter, I think we're gonna do some tra coon trapping with some dog proofs probably, and maybe even a box trap or foothold or I don't even know but uh, we got some stuff to look forward to at this spot uh, let's go into some more pictures so this, we're only going to do one picture right now it's 1 30 a.m. in the morning we have one buck right here it's looking like a six point maybe uh, we still got about three to four weeks to grow so we're going to have an okay buck here but uh, I have some other spots I don't think I want to show you guys the pictures until well, actually, I cannot show you the pictures because I think I have them all deleted. I think that's why I decided not to show you. But uh, they're all deleted. Um, I'm gonna check those cameras soon, and we're gonna have some more pictures on this as well. And I think we got some better bucks, some target bucks, and some mounters. So this dude, he's not gonna be bad. I mean, if, I, I'd shoot him late in the season. But let's go ahead and look some some more pictures as well. So as you can see right here, we have the first, we have the same buck right here. But then if you look back there behind the tree, it looks like it's, it's horizontal, looks like it's down. Uh, we have another buck coming in right there. And I'll show you that here in a minute. And the time is 1.31 a.m. So as you look right here, it is now 1.36 a.m. Five minutes later in the last picture. And we have two bucks right here. Looks like we have like a, maybe an eight point, um, maybe seven point. I'm not quite sure, and then we have a, a, maybe a 4 or 6 point over there on the left side. So, I, they're, they're, I can legally shoot either one of them. I can, I can legally shoot any buck. So, there we go. More pictures coming up soon. Uh, so, right here is one buck. I'm pretty sure it's an 8 point. Uh, I can't really tell in this picture. But then we go for this next picture right here. And it kind of looks like a caribou. Like, kind of like web like you're seeing a dog that feet it's like web kind of but I can't really tell because the ear I'm not sure if it has tine uh, brow tines I know I know it has tine uh, I meant to say brow tines but I can't really tell off that picture or any picture I really have of it. I can't really have any decent ones of that so next up we have some uh, morning and evening does Alright, so right here at 6.31 a.m., uh, we we're going to have three pictures of morning does here, and you see there's one day right there, two does right here, and another two does right there. It's, uh, I think we got like 6.30 to 6.40 a.m., uh, this one right here, 6.41 a.m. Uh, sorry guys if these pictures do not match up to my voice, um, shot cut, album editing is kind of trash. So, I'm going to try to pair it up just as best as I can. So, let's move on to some more dough. So, we have one picture right here. Um, 
I have more pictures. I'm, I think I deleted them from times I've checked them before. But uh, this is not a bad evening spot either. Um, it's 8.30 p.m. about uh, 20 minutes before it's dark. And I think we're going to have a decent evening hunting spot. I mean, I believe that... That, um, how do I describe? That this is going to be a great hunt spot for buck and doe. And just overall going to be a good hunt spot. Um, I want to tag out before rifle season. That'd be a great accomplishment. But if I don't, I don't. So, uh, we have a good morning spot, good evening spot for doe. Um, hopefully these bucks, they change their schedule a little. And um, start coming at 1.30 in the morning. They start coming uh, 6.30, 7 o'clock in the morning, 7, 8 o'clock at night, which that'd be great. Or in other words, uh, they come an hour or two after daylight or they're coming in an hour or two after, before sunset. So I hope you guys enjoy these here. And let me go ahead, I'm gonna have a a little inspirational thing here for you in a minute and let's go ahead and get into this outro okay everyone this video didn't go as planned Some things came up i didn't get to ride as many trails and report it at least but um i hope you guys enjoyed those pictures right there and yeah so um i'm hoping to get back on track and um get some more videos coming out get producing and um yeah I believe right now we are at 275 subscribers. Uh, if you're new to this channel and you are not yet subscribed, go down and do that. We're trying to hit 300 as soon as possible. So, make sure to do that. And I'll try to get to 20 likes. Um, set those standards high. Because um, I go by, well, I don't go by it, but it's not exactly a, qu a direct quote. It's kind of re-instating it. I don't know, but what it pretty much is is if you're if you're always achieving your goals, your goals just aren't high enough. So think about that. If you're always achieving your goals and your goals aren't high enough, goals are not always meant to be reached every single time. If that makes sense. So let's say I want to go on 1,000 subscribers by the end of 2020 which that is highly possible but you gotta realize though that, that I mean that is pretty possible it's just a matter of I don't know how I want to describe this describe um so hitting 1,000 subscribers by the end of 2020 uh very possible so instead of having that low goal, set it higher. Set it like 5,000, something like that. Something that has a chance, but small chance, if that makes sense. So me saying I'm gonna hit 300 subscribers by the end of August, that's only 25 more. I, I mean, I should be saying I wanna hit six, 700 subscribers by the end of August, something like so instead of 25 more, 225, 325, 425 more subscribers, if that makes sense. Because those have smaller chances, which you're not going to achieve that all the time. So, hope you guys like that, and something to live by, if that makes sense. So, let's see those 20 likes, how it all comes back together. So, thank you guys for watching. Take that, and if your goals, are, if you're always achieving your goals, and your goals aren't high enough. Take that into consideration in life. And if you guys like these kind of like inspirational things, uh, let me know down below, and I'll be sure to get some more of them. So um, thanks for watching, and um, please subscribe, like, let me know what you guys want to see, and um, catch you guys next time.